So, among other things, this is what I don't like about Logic for the iPad as opposed to Logic for the desktop. On Logic for the desktop, let me make sure you can see this. I can take this region and I can raise it and lower it. I would love to be, to be able to do that on here. I double tap and I hit edit. It's not there. Just toggle mute, quantize, show in editor. Maybe it's in show in editor. Um, nope, I don't see anything. I don't see anything for it. And I will select what? Nope, not in cycle, name and color, nope. Takes and folders, trim. I looked at trim, but it's not it. It's nowhere to be found, but it's probably one of those things where it's just going to be on the desktop and not here. Another thing is I would love for there to be a score on here or, or you know, if I could convert it to a score. Oh, that would be great because on here, if I'm at a gig and somebody needs a chart, let's do this one. I can do it. It's it's just as simple. It's it's it's. it's um, I love this, and to have that on the iPad, I could be at a gig, and the horn player will say, "I forgot my charts," and I'll say, "Oh, hold on. I know what they. I I can write. I'll write a chart for them, right there." But Logic is just um for the iPad. It's good for demo stuff or to get an idea out. You're not going to flesh out an entire song um, with a with a fast workflow. Maybe later when they do updates. But as for now, these are some of the things that I don't, I really don't like, you know. Um, oh, I don't need to be playing that right now. But yeah, just a couple things that I don't like.